the start of the pandemic, toilet paper disappeared from store shelves. So Mills cranked out record amounts of tissue in March. Four pounds for every American. So what's behind the ongoing toilet paper shortage? Good question. Now the Brown discovered the answer is more complicated than many of us first thought. And I'm in the stall and there's no toilet paper. Not since Seinfeld. No, what? Have we ever talked so much about toilet paper? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Or the lack thereof. You know, a TP shortage happened here once before. Back in 1973, during the energy crisis, it was sparked by rumors. There is an acute shortage of, of toilet paper. Sales of the tissue were up 112% in March. Maybe we picked up extra because we're now staying at home. I'm not going to have buyer's remorse. Or maybe we saw everyone else was doing it, so we did it too. This isn't all just psychological. No, no. Jim Luke is an economist. So I tend to assume people are rational. And a former planner for a wholesale paper distributor. When you suddenly decide, oh, I want to double the amount in my hall closet, well, it's not much to you, but you multiply that by hundreds of thousands, and all of a sudden, that's a hit to the shelf. That's because the whole supply chain of toilet paper was already very efficient. It's so bulky, companies don't want it just sitting around. And the demand for toilet paper is usually very constant. The average U.S. household uses 409 rolls per year. Huh. We weren't using any more than before, but where? And that makes a difference because there's two different products two different channels. The home stuff is the good stuff. You know, it's softer, it's embossed. And that's made from virgin fiber. The work stuff is made mostly from recycled fiber. And a lot of those rolls wouldn't even fit on our holders at home. Then there's the packaging and distribution. Different trucks going to different warehouses. It's just not a real simple, easy thing. Manufacturers are ramping up supplies. Stores with their limits are ramping down demand. And people might now have plenty in their hall closets. We're going to have product. You know, we're not going to get in that awkward position. Heather Brown. <laughs> um, and WCCO. Things are going to be okay. Four News. You can apply some of these economic concepts to all kinds of goods that are in short supply, like hair dye, cleaning supplies, and yeast for making bread. There's been a huge jump in demand for products where the demand is usually very steady. If you have a good question for Heather, just record a quick video and send it to her through WCCO.com links.